Ladies and gentlemen, good morning to all of yous out there. And to all of yous, this might be a holiday for some of yous out there. No, it's not Juneteenth yet. We're not in June yet. We're still in the month of April. And it's 420. I hear this on the radio. And mind you guys, it's 10, 1002 a.m. I hear it on the radio this morning. People talking about 420. And I see people out here celebrating 420 already. Because it smells like marijuana all over the place. New York City. There is... And if you don't watch the news, I don't watch much, but somebody told me that there were like 20 illegal, not grow houses, but dispensaries, illegal dispensaries on Madison Avenue in Manhattan. There's about 20 illegal dispensaries in Madison Avenue in Manhattan that got shut down this week, early this week. New York is, we always knew it was the concrete jungle, but man, it is reckless out here. Guys, before I don't get... You know, before I get too political on here and talk about what's going on in this world, <laughs> it's 420. I don't celebrate it. I don't smoke pot. I'm not into that stuff anymore. Um, guys, it's Thursday morning. We're heading to a gentleman's house who's had who had his water main replaced. This gentleman had a half inch, a half inch water main over in the area of Flushing, Queens. And um it leaked. It had a split on it when we um, were installing a pressure reducing valve on it. Um, it somehow created a crack in the main. We installed a repair clamp on it. He called his insurance company. He had his water main replaced. Um, they gave him a one inch main, K copper underground. Came up with a flared joint, put a nice gate valve on there. But his water meter is leaking all over the place. So the water meter setup that he's got with these old setter valves is a red flag. And if the EP was to come in and see that, they're gonna tag it, flag it, and tell them to get a new meter. So today we are installing a new meter that has to be installed horizontally. Um, isolation valves, test tees, grounding cable, remote wire, all that stuff. So after the meter, we're gonna put the pressure reducing valve and then this gentleman wants an expansion tank. So he's got everything, he got all the material. So we're just going there, um, providing our service and our skills to putting it all together. So um, that's what we're doing today. Hope everybody, um, thank you for tuning in. Hope everybody's enjoying their Thursday and uh, leave a comment down below guys. Hope everybody enjoyed yesterday's content. Um, getting a lot of fan mail lately and, um, really appreciate everybody sending me those. Let's do yours next video. So guys come along for the ride. I'm going to show you how to install a New York city approved domestic water meter. Here we go. New York city wants one word that sums up redundancy. Oh man. Redundancy. New York city wants the house valve. They want a meter inlet valve, meter coupling, water meter, testy, with a plain end hose bib. After the plain end hose bib, they want an outlet valve. You ask the plain end hose bib, Mike, why? Three quarter and one inch meter setups need a testy with a plain end hose bib. A plain end hose bib is a hose spigot with no threads on it. New York City DP. They want any connections after the meter that can be hooked up to through a means of a garden hose or whatnot. But that testy with that plain end hose bib is for them to test. So go figure. So guys, if those of you who've never seen a plain end hose bib, it's a hose bib that you cannot attach a garden hose to. So guys, if you didn't learn anything today. Working in New York City is probably one of the hardest states to work in. And they make it like this for a reason. All for the cheddar. All for the cheddar. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're just pulling up to City Water Meter Repair down here in 13th Street by Chinatown. I've been dealing with them for years. I'm going to go see my buddy Willie. He's got a ton of backflows and RPZs, double check valves, water meters, all New York City approved. And uh, we're going to go pick up this three-quarter water meter. 
and uh, that's going to be installed today. So, guys, I'm going to bring you along for the ride. Hope everybody enjoying their beautiful Thursday. And uh, we are one day closer to Friday. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you're in need of a new New York City approved water meter, come check out my buddy Willie over here at City Water Meter Repair. Tell him Mike from MJF Mechanical sent you. He will take care of you. He will take care of all your domestic water supply needs, guys, from the building house valve on, backflows, water meters, setter valves, grounding cables, remote wire. Go check out Willie over at City Water Meter Repair. Tell him Mike Fatraponte from MJF Mechanical sent you. He will definitely take care of you. Ladies and gentlemen, you wanna see some awesome stuff. Six inch RPZ. Very nice. Vertical setup here for tight spaces. Very nice, this looks like a Wilkins. Yeah, that's a Wilkins double check. Six inch. Where are the watts? These are the watts right here. Man, beautiful. Nice little zone. Always some wide valve. Nice Zern valve. Beautiful. Rubber seated here. Beautiful. Very nice. All right. Let's go see my buddy Willie over at City Water Meter Repair, guys, over here on 13th Street. All right, ladies and gentlemen. As we wait for them to pull our new New York City approved water meter, you ask, what is a backflow prevention device? What is an RPZ? What is a double check valve? Guys, in this case, this is an RPZ, a reduced pressure zone device, guys. It is usually mandated by the engineer on new construction who designs the building based on the hazardous conditions, guys. There is levels of hazardous conditions where the new construction is being built the engineer decides whether it's a highly hazardous condition or a low hazardous condition guys a rpz a reduced pressure zone device is used on a highly hazardous condition guys you ask what is backflow Backflow is exactly what it means. Guys, most of plumbing is common sense, guys. That the terminology, what you're speaking, and what you're saying is basically common sense. What is backflow? Water traveling in reverse flow. So this device prevents backflow, and some devices only prevent backflow, and some devices prevent backflow and back siphonage. So you gotta know and distinguish which is which. You ask. What's a case of back flow? A water main break. A water main break will cause a pressure drop in the system and it'll draw all that city water that's in your water main and it'll create a sucking action. Any water main break underground before the prevention device, which in this case is an RPZ, will pull and cause back flow. This device will not let any of that city water, well, any of that domestic water inside that house back into the city water main. Guys, there have been cases, there's a, been a big case, and I think that's why they came out with the Cross-Contamination Act. There was a instance in Michigan, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but this is way back where thousands of people were sick and some even died from the cross-contamination from a some some type of plant correct me if i'm wrong i'll have to do some research but i think this all started from the case that happened in detroit michigan where several thousands of people were sick and some some died guys cross contaminants from let's say a boiler if you're using glycol in a boiler um, and there's a water main break or if there's a booster pump that's installed backwards um, that will cause backflow and that contaminants in that drinking water will be drawn back into the city 
supply and contaminate others. So guys, cross connection or cross contamination is a real thing. And if, morning, how you doing, sir? If you are not taking it serious out here, you know, people's lives are at stake. So the main saying that I like to use is plumbers protect the health of the nation, guys. And we really do. So guys, do some homework on a backflow prevention device. In a residential home, you're not needing them, but in a facility or new construction that has contaminants in their non-potable water, like a chiller, like a cogeneration plant, backflow prevention device is most likely required, and that is decided by the engineer, guys. If you didn't learn something today, guys, I hope you learned a little bit about backflow prevention devices. But today's install, we're not installing one. We're waiting for our new approved water meter, our grounding cable, and a few other things. New York City wants, <laughs> only in New York City, look at this, look at this. Come on, man, I gotta see this, man. Yeah, what happened, man? man? This is stolen, it's stolen company. Yeah, but, man, is it stolen or what? No, no, no. All right, cool, man, I believe you guys. No, no. Be careful, man. <laughs> you guys are sick. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Trying to ease into it. Nah, see, I gotta tell you. You don't know how to do it. Yo, man, be careful out there. Fuck, oh, man. Pop wheelies with this thing or what? Yeah. Fuck, oh, sick. Oh, they, oh, shit. I thought that thing was about to fall right now. Crazy, crazy. Oh. Yo, be careful. Ease into it. Guys, it's savage, yo. Later. Yo, sick. Crazy. And guys and ladies, for those of you that test backflow prevention devices, I have my, wow, my Watts TK409 gauges in the, in the decorative briefcase that it, that it came with for sale. If you guys are interested, I don't test backflows anymore. Um, there's a certain amount, my, my license expired a long time ago. Um, there's a certain amount of devices you have to test per year to keep that license active. But man, I got that, I got that license, I wanna say like 20 years ago, when I was about 20 or 21 years old. That was when Ferguson was once Davidson Warshaw. I took it over in Mass, but there was, I think it was a week class. It was a week class all day. And um, I took it for the company I was working for and uh, we were testing backflows. But after that, um, I didn't test, after I left that company, I didn't test enough to uh, keep that license active. So uh, if you guys are looking for the Watts TK, I think it's the 409 gauges. Um, I'm not sure, I got all hoses, um, fittings. If you guys are interested, shoot me an email or a text message. Um, m.fachaponte at aol.com or shoot me a text 646-423-2174. Alright guys, let's go install this uh, new New York City approved water meter for this gentleman. Here we go. It really came out nice. All this is coming out. All this is coming. Really did. One inch K copper, gate valve, flare joint. This is all going to come out. This meter setup, no good. These setter valves, no good. We don't use them no more. Hanger, no good. Pressure reducing valve coming out. Um, I'm gonna redo this whole setup right here. Finding out how to strap this thing and hang it. We got the valve off. Right now we're gonna drain some water and empty this system. Let's see, Daniel. What do you got there? Cool. Nice. Uh -huh. Right. Because he wants to. He doesn't care about the status symbol. He doesn't care about that stuff, right? Right. But imagine, you know, that's the things that people say. Why did Warren Buffett driving a shitty old car, right? Right. And, you know, unless you know the story behind it, then uh -huh. gonna, they're always going to ask that question. They're always going to secretly, I don't want to call it judging you, but secretly, right. like, sizing you up, right? Of you course. Know, well, what are you doing with $12 million and you're living in... You know, your kid's going to public school right. and you're, you know, whatever, right? Uh -huh. and, don't, and they feel like you have to start justifying your life to other people. Right. And that's what I tell my wife. Like, you know, we, if, if we were to get rich, that uh -huh. would be a problem. In our right. Life. That's the old meter. Right. Right. I got you. So, and that's the new three-quarter badge. Right. I hear you. Go ahead. I'm listening. So, you know, the money is not everything. Money's not everything. No, it's not. I, it helps, I but... I want enough to be comfortable. That's what I think. There you I go. 
Yeah, people leave the hell alone. Exactly. Smart. But well, you're doing the right thing, though. You're doing something right. Uh, you got a beautiful family. And it never seems like you have enough. Yep, I hear you. Come on. My, my paychecks, my, my uh, salary, gross annual salary, because I'm earning this much money, right? Uh-huh. It doesn't feel like it. I actually didn't like it. It doesn't feel like it. Because, you know, I might be able to be looser with my money now, right? Make sure the arrow's facing this way. Hey, let me call Mike and have you change my water meter. Mm-hmm. As opposed to before, I'd be like, hmm, that's going to be a big potential. Test T. Savings. Non-thread hose vib. Uh-huh. So. I'll leave it out. I'll leave it no, go ahead. I'm listening. All right, guys. So the old meter is out. These old setters are prohibited anymore. So we got a new three-quarter Badger meter here. New York City redundancy. Oh, we can turn this on now. Let's test from here. Let's test this. No, this nipple's not made in China. Indonesia. Good, right? Thumbs up. Three-quarter Badger meter coupling. Non-threaded plain end hose bib. Outlet valve. Gauge. Future bypass pressure reducing valve Webstone isolation valve with purge our three-quarter bypass in the back and this is gonna be our outlet pressure. This is another future, I guess, for the future, right? Future for the future. ST12 being mounted right here. So this is the new setup. We just have to do the remote wiring and uh test for leaks. What do you guys think? How about this for a thumbnail? That'd be pretty cool. Very nice. All right, guys, the SC12 by Amtrol. Supported with some 3A threaded rod, little rod coupling here. We gotta make sure to put some threaded rod back on the truck. Three quarter split ring hanger. Let's turn this baby on. Let's go. This is on. Do we have any faucets open? What do we have down here, right? That slop sink? Yes. Um, okay. Yeah, you can close it. We're gonna open this, pressurize this up to this part. Let's do, let's pressurize in sections. Here we go. All right. Bypass is closed. Let's test this. Whoa. This gentleman's got 82 pounds of pressure in this, in this house here. Hence the pressure reducing valve. Guys, make sure the direction of flow is from left to right. We're going from right to left here. We come up, make a right turn from left to right. All right. Let's open up the pressure reducing valve. Let's see. Wow, these valves are never flow. You know what? I know what's going to leak right now. The unions on this guy. Let me tighten them up. All right. We just tighten up these unions. Let's open up this. And let's adjust this PRV. But what do we have? We have nothing open, right? No faucets open up there? All right. ST12, and this is going to the house here. We're going to open this. But right now, we are set for 55. 55 is good? Or you want to boost it up? Uh, boost it up? Yeah. Boost it up. All right. We're going to adjust. Let's to see. adjust. This PRV is rated from 25 to 75. You're going to remove the locking ring. And we're going to adjust. Let's see. Just about 60. What do you want in here? 70? Do you? Let's see. Let's give them 70. Let's give them 70. Clockwise is increasing. And you can just hear the water going up and you can see by the gauge. And this expansion tank is filling up. Beautiful. You said 70? Yes, please. 70. Here we go. 65. Okay. That should be good. All right, guys, don't forget your grounding cable here that we did. And don't forget your remote wire that we made a splice right here. DEP can come and run their remote box outside. So there it is once again. One inch main coming up. Three quarter IPS inlet valve. Three quarter New York City approved Badger meter. Make sure the direction of flow is good, guys. Non-threaded hose bib. Outlet valve. Pressure gauge. Isolation valve from this pressure reducing valve. Three quarter bypass in the back. Outlet side of the PRV, 70 pounds, right where he wanted it. This is a future. And the SD12 hung with this nice 3 thread rod. Beautiful. Today we used Apollo. 
Very nice. Beautiful. All right, guys. You know what I say after that? Let's do yours next, baby.